running and exercising and all things pelvic floor. Kirsty. So um, basically, if you're returning to exercise from having a baby, your first port of call should actually be seeing your GP when you do the six week checkup um, and making your staff an appointment, that's a big one. Um, and, and seeing a woman's health physio if you are having any discomfort or leakage or, or you're concerned about it in any way, or if you feel that something's changed since you've had the baby to prior pregnancy. Um, but that's the most important is seeing the GP. Some are better than others. So if you didn't get a very good appointment with the GP, you can self-refer to a woman's health physio um, and they will check for you. And it's kind of like a warrant of fitness in terms of checking your body and they will check your tummy and they'll check your pelvic floor and everything. Ask you the right questions. And if there is an issue, they will come up with a plan for you um, and some treatment. So that's probably the most important thing. And also, wait, like actually resting half the baby, waiting to the bleeding stops and all that stuff, and then taking things quite slowly. Learning about your pelvic floor and how it works is very important. But yeah, making sure you take the time and you come back slowly and get those checks done. Um, I can't reinforce that enough. I think people are desperate to get back to exercise and I was definitely one of those people, but you have the rest of your life to exercise and really your body has gone through such a huge thing. Just take time, enjoy your baby, don't rush that getting back. And it's very easy to say now, but just really try and remember that. Um, there, are a few, there, are, there are no guidelines in terms of you at this many weeks you can do this and no many weeks because again, like anything baby related, it's also variable but the kind of two main rules I give to people is it's not recommended that you do any impact exercise so that's running or jumping or skipping for four three months so that just allows all that connective tissue in your pelvic floor just to settle down so nothing that involves running or hopping or jumping before that three month mark and then you build it up gradually and the other rule I kind of say is is going back to those three things that leaking that pain that heaviness if you're doing an exercise that brings one of those on it's probably too hard for you at that moment in time it doesn't mean you can never do it again but it means that at that, that moment in time the public floor is working too hard you need to do a few more exercises a bit more time and then you will be able to do it in the future so so base your exercise on am I having any of those symptoms and then and then you might need to adjust your pelvic floor exercises or rehab or see a physio or something like that and then build it back up in time. I also forgot to mention about cesarean. If you've had a cesarean, that will take longer to heal. So potentially, the guidelines were around 10 to 12 weeks, but I think getting the, the sign off from the physio is probably the most important. With the cesarean, um, it's, a, it's a big surgery. Like if we were to have knee operations and stuff, we would see, be referred to the physio. We would be under their care until you're basically discharged to go on with your body bath. But no one refers you to a woman's health physio with a caesarean, but you do need it. Especially if you've had issues with that healing of the scar and everything. So that's really important too. So it's not, a caesarean is not the easy way out. In fact, it's more intensive for rehabilitation and your pelvic floor will actually be um, affected during pregnancy just because the baby didn't come out the chute it still got pulled out the sun <laughs> and that there was pressure on that pelvic floor for the whole pregnancy as well so you have to be aware of that just because you had a cesarean doesn't mean your pelvic floor has not been affected can't say any more than that that's awesome <laughs>